Hey guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today we're going to show you how to get translucent navigation and status bars on any app for your Nexus 5. Now this Soft Mod requires root and the exposed framework, so for more info on that, as well as all the download links you'll need to get this going, head on over to the link in the description just below this video. Now the exposed module that you'll need for this one is called Force Translucent KitKat. So go ahead and get that installed, and then we'll open it up to check it out. You'll see that it's basically a list of your installed apps with checkboxes next to them. So the premise is simple. Basically, it'll force KitKat's translucent decor onto any app that you tick here. Some apps play nice with this module, while others do not. The developer recommends it for Aviate, XDA, and Cal, among others. But he also warns that apps like Greenify and Gmail will be pretty jacked up if you enable this soft mod on them. My experience has been that if you use an app that has an action bar up at the top, or really any static UI elements at the top or bottom, that this won't really be practical for it. But go ahead and play around with it a bit to see what you think looks good and what doesn't. If you're really daring, there's even a select all option up here in the overflow menu. And once you've ticked all the apps that you want to try this out on, you'll see a toast message telling you that you need to reboot before the changes will take effect. So I'll do that and we can try a few apps out when I come back. Now that we're back up, I'll show you some of the good and the bad from this module. Let's take Maps, for instance. Now this is one app that really should have translucent decor by default, in my opinion. It gives you more screen real estate to see more of the app. But here you can notice a little bit of the downside to this module too. Half of the search bar is hidden behind the status bar up here, and the location button down here is not really accessible because of the navigation buttons are right on top of it. So I'll show you an example of an app that you do not want to use this module on. Let's say Google+. You can see how the action bar up top leaves an ugly gap underneath the status bar. Also this one has other UI elements at the bottom, which you can see don't quite function correctly here. But this is the initial release of this module. So maybe we'll see some additional options that can fix some of these quirks in the coming weeks. And for now, there are indeed several apps that this looks very good with. So again, for download links as well as a more complete guide, head on over to the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.